Good day everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about multiplication with exponents. But before that, we're going to review some of the important things that we need to remember in multiplying exponents. First, what is an exponential form? So the exponential form, okay, we have the exponential form, which is x raised to the power of n. What is n? n is the exponent. x will be the base, where n is the factor of, so therefore in this one, we can have now n is the factor of, factor of x. For example, 5 raised to the power of 3. So 5, we call this one the base, and then 3 is the exponent. So in here, 3 is a factor of 5. So meaning this is 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 125, or equal to 5 to the power of 3. So therefore, we have to consider what will be the exponent of the base. So in multiplying with exponent, we have to consider first this first property, which is a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n equal to a m plus n, which it says that to multiply two expression with the same base. So when we're going to multiply two expression with the same base, we just only add the exponent. For example, x squared times x cubed equals, both of them have the same base, x now will give us 2 plus 3 which is equal to x to the power of 5. Another example, 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 3 or 2 cubed. We will get 2, 4 times 3 equal to 2 to the power of 7. If we have to simplify it more further, we can make this one as 2 times 2, okay? times 2 times 2 times 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and then after that we can also simplify it more further so we have another example 7 to the power of 4 times 7 squared we'll get 7 4 plus 2 equals to 7 to the power of 6. So it says that if a is a real number, okay, if a is a real number, so this one now, so we can conclude that, okay, if a is real number, or we can change that one, If a is real number and r are and we have m and n are integers, then we can have now so we say that m and n are integers. Integers meaning we will have a positive or a negative. Then we can make now as a m times a n equals to a m plus n. Another factor is to consider, okay, property number two for multiplication. If we will have, or the property of a product, okay, product property, okay, for multiplication, what's that? It is a m times n which is 
or will give us a m n so it says that if a is a real number is any we have real number and m and n okay are integers then we can have this equation so this one is a power raised to a power or we can have now the product of the pro powers for example we say a raised to the power of 2 cubed. So therefore, using the distributive property as well of multiplication, we can distribute now the exponent inside. So we can have as a 2 times 3, which is equal to a to the power of 6. For example, we get 2x squared to the power of 4. So we can get now as 2 to the power of 4 x 2 times 4 then we can simplify now 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so we get 16 x to the power of 8 so in this case you have to distribute in each we have numbers so you have to distribute as well in 2 for the coefficient and then you have to distribute as well for x so when you multiply, you have 2 to the power of 4 and 2x squared times 4x. So we're going to make this one as an asterisk so that you will not be confused about x and 2 to the power of or x squared times 4. Next example, what if we will have x to the power of 3, y to the power of 2 squared so what will happen so therefore the same as the second example you have to distribute each of these power or exponent so we will get now as x 3 times 2 y 2 times 2 okay equal to x to the power of 6 and y to the power of 4. So we can conclude now that if we are going to multiply the exponent, you have to multiply in every variable inside and plus the coefficient. Okay, so what's that one again? We have a raised to the power of m times n will give us a raised to the power of m times n next property for example we have a b times r or we say to the power of m so as what I've said, the same as in the product property of exponent, we can we need to distribute each of the following values. So therefore, it will give us a, m, b, m. So this one now is the power of a product to the power of, or it says that here, this one now will give us the power Okay, the power of a product is the product of powers, product of we get of the powers. So what it what is the mean what is the meaning of this one? So let's say we'll have five x squared and then times 2 or we have 5x squared open and close parentheses to the power of 2 so therefore what we're gonna do we have 5 squared 
x to the power of 2 times 2, therefore we will have now 25x to the power of 4. Another example, 2xy to the power of 4. So therefore, we will get now 2 to the power of 4, x to the power of 4, and y to the power of 4. So we can simplify that more further. So we can simplify 2 now into 2 to the power is equal to 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times x to the power of 4, y to the power of 4. So we have 4, 8, and 16 x to the power of 4, y to the power of 4. So there are three properties that we need to remember in multiplying exponents. Again, what's the three? We get a m times a n equal to a m plus n. The other property, a m times a n equal to or we say times n equal to a m n then the next one a b times m will equal to a m b m okay so let's try some more examples using this three properties of exponent. Let's say we have 2 over 3, a to the power of 4, b to the power of 5, raised to the power of 3. Okay, so raised to the power of 3. So what will be our solution? We can have now 2 over 3 cubed a times so you have to multiply that one raised to the power of 12 and b raised to the power of 15 so we need to simplify this one more further it will give us now equal to 2 cube is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8 over 3 cube equal to 27 so our final answer now will give us 8 over 27 a12 b15 another example if we will have x squared cube times x to the power of 4 squared what will be the result first thing we will have to do is we have to simplify first this one so therefore we get x to the power of 6 times x to the power of 8 and then after that multiply both of them again we'll get x 6 plus 8 equals to x to the power of 14 the next one last example let's say we have 3x squared times 2x to the power of 4. What will be the result? So from here, you can multiply 3 and 2. So 3 times 2, we get 6 and x squared. That will be 2 plus 4. So therefore, your final answer now will give 6x to the power of 6 okay so remember when you're going to multiply variables with exponent you have to remember the three properties of exponent now let's go to division or we have dividing okay when you are going to divide what will what are the things that you need to remember? So we have to go to division of exponents. First thing we have to consider is this one. 
a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n will give us a m minus n. So the difference between multiplication and division in the in multiplication you have to add the exponent. But in division, you have to divide, you have to, when you are going to divide, always consider this one is the same base, okay? So you have to divide a, m, and a, n. The result will be m or a raised to the power of m minus n. So you have to subtract now the exponent. For example, if we will have... 3x squared divided by 3x. What will be the result? So both of them now have the same coefficient and the same variable. So we can rewrite that one as 3x squared over 3x. Okay? The result is 3 and 3. So therefore, guys, this one, you have to see that 3 1 minus 1 and then after that x squared minus 1 as well therefore the resulting of this one or the result of this is 3 raised to 0 x to the power of 1 or we can write now 3 raised to 0 is always equal to 1 so we can go to this one to this property that any variable raised to 0 is always equal to 1 so we can write now as value of x because always consider that if a variable there is one coefficient and one exponent okay another example another example we get x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 10. in this case we have x 4 minus 10 equals to x to the power of negative 6. So here, in the properties of exponent, okay, the answer must be a positive or the exponent must be a positive. So therefore, you have to find the reciprocal of x raised to the power of 16. Or we can use this property, a raised to the power of negative m will be equal to 1 over a raised to the power of m okay so this one is for the properties of a negative okay so when the answer or the result will be a negative so you have to find a reciprocal of that one and then will give us 1 over a m so the result of this one will give us 1 over x to the power of 6 so the additional again, we have a raised to the power of 0 is, is always equal to 1. And a raised to the power of 1 is also equal to a. Okay. So let's say we have a or a raised to the power of 15 over a raised to the power of 20. So therefore, we will have now a 15 minus 20. The result is equals to a negative 5 so we can have now the answer from here from this property we can we can have now as 1 over a to the power of 5 using all these properties we will try some exercises for example we have 5 x cube squared over x to the power of 4. So this one now are combination of power property, okay, or the exponential properties here. You have to distribute and also you have to divide. So first thing you will do, you have to simplify first the top part, the numerator, which is equal now to 5 squared x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 4. So from then, we have now 25 and x 6 now minus 4. So the result is equal to 25x 
squared. Okay. How about if we have x negative 8 over x squared cubed? What will be the result? We consider the first one, the top part, is a negative. And then here it's all positive. So therefore, we can have now as change that one on the bottom, which is 1 over 8, or let's say we have 1 over x to the power of 8 times x to the power of 6. Therefore, the result now is 1 over 6 and 8. This one is multiplication. So therefore, we can have x to the power of 14. Okay, so we consider about the division property of negative and then we use the distribute or the exponent property, the product property of exponent, and then we get the result. Any questions? If you have more questions, just write down a comment below. And don't forget, guys, to practice because mathematics is just a constant practice to make everything perfect. Thank you and God bless you all.